Good morning, folks. Here are some planet-sized plasma filaments dancing on the edge of our visibility before stepping over to the far side of the sun. We've got space weather, the lithosphere, a nationwide flood event, and the recycling galaxy. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. The disk continues to be dominated by coronal holes. The current opening here is magnetically connecting to Earth. Its solar wind is still about two and a half days away. Meanwhile, on the incoming limb, we see the emergence of an active region from the far side. We will monitor it for advancement or decay when it faces Earth this week. The solar wind is calming down nicely at Earth, density, speed, and plasma temperature, which is why geomagnetic conditions are returning back to calm levels as well. As we mentioned, there are about two and a half days until this coronal hole stream arrives, but until then, it's a lithospheric watch due to the large-scale interplanetary field variation and kinetic alpha waves. It begins as Fuego in Guatemala begins releasing ash and smoke, Recall the last time it went off earlier this year, it killed hundreds of people. Top weather event of the last day is no contest. The entire nation of Kuwait is categorized under flood emergency. There was hail and lightning, but it was the rain that came and refused to quit. Brutal situation there. Let's go to the Geological Society of America. Deep studies into the New Madrid Fault reveal past major earthquakes, but an increasing frequency as we come forward in time. A large gap. A few thousand years, 550 years, then less than 400 years when the 1811 events happened. Up next, we're going to the top of the sky, the ionosphere, and this morning, gold gets his little buddy. Icon launched this morning, and I am so, so excited to get further insight into the global electric circuit from above the ceiling. Up next, we're heading into deep space to find something somewhat unremarkable. Unless, of course, you begin to look in wavelengths our eyes aren't very good at seeing. Let's get some more, and... There you go. They say it is an active galactic nucleus cosmic jet shrouded in itself. The jet seen over time is fairly remarkable, but there is something unusual. Whereas cosmic jets normally go deep out into space and escape events, the material here cannot escape and instead falls back into the system and replenishes the process. It falls in, blasts out, and falls slowly back in. We greatly appreciate your support. We hope you saw last night's Grand Solar Minimum video. It is linked right below this one. Hopefully you got the reasons why this Observing the Frontier conference will be critical. And remember, anyone registered for the conference by November 19th is entered to win all four nights free at the venue hotel. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.